Hey everyone, it's the end of week three. Uh, it's been a busy week and I've overcome a lot of obstacles. I've uh, continued my war with Marriott ever so slightly, but had to give up. Let's start there. Uh, the Marriott war, the free internet, ain't gonna happen. Uh, their response seems to think that I was confused about whether they provided the internet access directly or whether it was a third party provider. They sent me some response about, oh yes, it is a third party provider. We hope we can make your stay here more comfortable. Obviously not, because I'm still not getting free internet. Uh, I just had to give up. I couldn't do it. Um, the convenience of having it in the room is one thing, uh, but all the free internet that I did find out and about in town, even though there was some good food at those places, uh, I couldn't upload my videos. I would miss you all so very much. Couldn't upload the videos. The links were too slow. Uh, I would have had to have sat there for three or four hours. And granted, if I was at a bar for three or four hours, I probably wouldn't have minded as much. But you can't sit at McDonald's for four hours. And Starbucks charges by the hour. They don't give the free internet at Starbucks like they do in the Americas uh, with your gold Starbucks card. Ooh, which I haven't even tried to use, by the way. That's a good... i got to try and use my gold Starbucks card while I'm here in Paris. I don't know if they take it. Oh, I went to Starbucks this week and didn't have any problems. I got a triple grande caramel macchiato. Uh, I just asked for a triple grande caramel macchiato uh, because they spoke mostly English and because it's Starbucks and they have standards and uh, triple grande caramel macchiato is the same in French, America, or wherever. Uh, I, I got it, so I didn't have to worry about it. But I told the barista the funny story about me last week getting the three extra shots and then I drank them all and she laughed. She thought it was hilarious. Uh... Sending in expense reports from here. First of all, sending international faxes is highly, ex extremely expensive. Uh, E-fax, you can scan them in and then send them through email, but they only take four attachments, which means if I have a fax, like most of my expenses are, any more than four pages, I'm not able to send it in unless I can find something that'll combine all my documents into one big document and then send it. And then even then it has a 20 meg limit, and then with all the the fact that I scan in all these receipts, it goes over 20 meg. So I had to go through actually GoDaddy, my internet provider for the blog, and I had to order a fax through through email service with them. They allow up to I think it's 30 meg, and they allow as many attachments as long as it doesn't go over the 30 meg. And um, once I did all that, but I did work it out so that basically I have to scan every page down in the lobby on their scanner and it comes out as a JPEG file then I have to put it either on the Mac or on the Dell and I have to <coughs> excuse me I have to print it as if I were going to print it to a PDF form which uh, you can always do on Macs and as long as you have a full-fledged version of Adobe on PCs you can do it there too and EMC gives us full Adobe so one or the other I can just make it PDFs and it shrinks it a lot which is good but it's still 20 to 24 separate attachments depending on how many weeks it's been since I did my last expense report. So I finally worked that all out though. Uh, I gotta pay that per month. I, I'm paying that right now, but I should probably just charge EMC for it because otherwise uh, they'd have a nice hefty international fax charge. I don't know. So that's all good. Uh, last week I told you I was going dancing. I did go dancing. I went to Lake Queen. I had a very good time. I got there at midnight. I started dancing almost as soon as I got there. Uh, the music was good, not typically what I am used to or what I like. Uh, it's what I'm used to. I mean, it was electronica music. It's all techno electronica. That was good, but I, I particularly like lots of words and vocals. I like to be able to sing along while I'm dancing. Uh, that didn't happen here often. There were songs that did have vocals and songs that I recognized and was able to sing along with. They weren't in French. I was surprised. Music seems to be universally English. Uh, don't get me wrong, there is some French music and other language music, uh, I guess just the big dance stuff and the club music is mostly done in English. So I was happy to know that. Music seems to transcend all languages, uh, especially if there are no lyrics though. So that's what they played most of the night, techno with uh, no lyrics, but good beats. And I was surprised because uh, as Tom and Alex both know, I typically do not like music uh, all night long that has no lyrics. But he mixed in some lyrics. It was really good. This weekend. Uh, this weekend, I ventured outside of Paris. Uh, I, there's a co-worker here from EMC, Scott Simon, uh, who wanted to go see a couple of the chateaus in Bleu. That's how you say it, Bleu. Uh, I think it's B-L-O-I-S, Bleu. And we went to one of the more famous ones, Chateau Chambard. 
Uh, anyone, if you're, oh god, I, I always get that stuff backwards. If uh, you're a big French history major, this is the one to go to. Uh, there was so much French history here. Uh, the chateau is huge. It wasn't what I expected. I thought there would be, every room would have furniture in it and it would be made to look like uh, when the kings and royals actually lived there. Uh, that wasn't the case. They had some paintings and some artwork and some different things, but it, it, it wasn't all made up. Uh, but it was fun. We, we spent the most time at this one. I think we were there for about three or four hours, and then we ventured off to a second one uh, in Bleu, or close to Bleu, uh, Castle, Castle Chavernet. Chateau. I don't know why. I guess uh, this is the English translation self-guided tour book, and Chateau turns into castle. This one was much more what I expected. Um, lots of antiques in there. The rooms were all set up. Tapestries, all tapestries, sorry, tapestries, tapestries, whatever it is. All over the place. Um, Anybody who is into antiques would have loved this one because they were explaining all the different old furniture that was there and how these styles came about and, <coughs> and that this was the origin and stuff. And a family actually still lives in that one in the top floor, so we weren't able to access that. Uh, but it was so it was very well kept. Um, not as big. Uh, it was it was tall, but very thin. You know, front to back, there there is not a lot of space, but uh, four or five floors, uh, but very thin. So that's what I did on Saturday this weekend. Uh, today, Sunday, Sunday night, uh, and the reason I'm making the video so late is I woke up early, uh, went and had my my Starbucks, and had no problem ordering the Starbucks this time. I, did I already say that? I, I've made this video 12 times, so I may have already said that one time. Um, had breakfast there, and then I went to Bruno's house. Bruno's my French friend. <laughs> he lives here in one of the suburbs of Paris. He's been in New York several times. He always goes to the clubs with me and goes dancing. and. We've always talked about me maybe coming to Paris. Well, here I am. Uh, and he had a pool party today and invited some of his friends and myself. Um, I went over. And beautiful home. Uh, friendly, as usual. And all his friends are just as friendly as he are. Uh, he is. He are. I'm trying to talk too fast because I have a 10 minute time limit here. Uh, his friends are all very nice. All bilingual. Uh, you know, I kind of poked fun at myself and told him how I'm trying to learn the French and told him that I know what I call restaurant French. Uh, just so happens that the three lessons I've been through so far apply mostly to restaurants and uh, things you would say to a waiter, uh, like a glass of white wine, a bottle of wine, a glass of water, a cup of coffee, things like that. You know, and I told them it was the necessary French I needed in order to uh, eat <laughs> and survive, and they laughed and thought it was funny. Uh, but I told them I was learning more, and they were, they helped me out with a few of the words I couldn't pronounce. So the French is getting better, uh, I think. Over time, it's going to progress, and I'm going to do really good. I'm not going to say I'm going to speak fluent French, uh, but I think pretty soon I'll be able to carry on the conversation and understand some stuff. <coughs> I don't know if that'll happen at work, because uh, IT French is much different than regular French, and to read French is totally different than to speak French, by the way, too, because they have all these crazy spellings, and the way they pronounce it is nothing like the way it's spelled. Um, I, and there, are, there don't seem to be enough rules, or there are too many rules, uh, to remember what all the letters in a row and what their pronunciation is, and I, ugh, it's hard to read the French. I can repeat and speak some of it, hard to read it. Um, other than that, work is going good. Uh, I, I met my, my French boss's boss, uh, basically uh, talked to him to find out that there is enough work here to keep me here for six months. Uh, that will be at this customer probably through the middle to the end of September. Um, in September, I'm supposed to be able to come back to New York City, pack up the apartment, come back here, uh, and then probably every month come home for four or five days, <coughs> which is good. October, I think I'm going back to New York City for Alegria. There are no parties here. Uh, I found that out while I was at Bruno's. They told me that the, you know Paris doesn't really party that much, and there is supposed to be one in September. i got to make sure that when I go back to the States, it's not the same time that the party is here in Paris. It sucked to be in Paris the whole time and never make it to one of the parties in Paris. Uh, I don't want to be back in New York when the party's supposed to be over here. I can't miss a party. But anyway... Um, so that's that. That's the end of week three. It's at nine minutes and 30 seconds here. Anything longer than 10 minutes and YouTube will not let me upload it. So until next week, I'll see you guys later.